10 aspects of an aurora that could be added to your world. The aurora borealis, or northern lights, are a rare sight indeed. The auroras occur when charged particles collide with gases in the Earth's atmosphere. The Earth's magnetic fields steer these particles toward the polar regions. The result is usually a night sky filled with colorful lights that appear to move and dance. It truly is a celestial event, and I couldn't resist shedding some additional light on the subject. This otherworldly event is magnificent on its own, and you could simply add it to your game or story as is. However, I urge you to examine this phenomenon a little closer. The auroras can change shape like colorful ribbons that move and dance across the sky, and this instantly reminded me of ley lines in tabletop role-playing games. Now, ley lines are supposed to be conduits of magical energy or pools of power that traverse around the world, sort of like the veins and arteries of everything that's living. There's no physical descriptor in role-playing games or in the lore for ley lines, but I imagine that they would look something like the Aurora Borealis. Now, using our own history, it's believed that sacred sites might have been constructed in alignment with ley lines. So what if in your story or game, your characters came across some light display over an unassuming area? And maybe they didn't think anything of it that one time, but it happened again somewhere else, and it happened again somewhere else. And maybe at some point they would connect the dots and realize that these places where this event is happening have some importance because ley lines, lights, and magic plots. How does your world explain the auroras? We understand the science behind these light displays, but how was this phenomena explained before then? Consider what various regions, species, religions, political domains, what they would think of this. Is it considered a portent of doom? Do people worship it? Maybe even sacrificing to it? Is an aurora a sign of good luck? Are there holidays around the event? Is it like Groundhog's Day, where if the aurora shows up, fishermen will find more success than if it didn't show up? How do people in your world explain it? Let's look at some historical views in folklore. The Sami people believe the Northern Lights come from the souls of their dead ancestors and must be treated with respect. They fear whistling in the light's presence or risk getting spirited away. Let's world build that into a fictional world. Consider that whistling is a frequency of noise that could possibly excite the molecules in the light, setting off some sort of a teleportation. Where? I don't know, into the astral sea, somewhere else, transported by light. Sort of like Thor. I'm Dalo from the Bifrost. You could make a whole plot out of this. Maybe the villain in your story is planning on building some contraption on a massive scale to emit a frequency that not only transports the villain, but could maybe transport an entire city to another world even. Let's take a look at some other historical views. Some believed that the auroras were bushfires in the spirit world. Some even had laws that forbade anyone but elders from watching the aurora. Some believed that the glaciers could store energy so that they eventually became fluorescent. And some believed that it brought on infectious diseases and even even created cures just for this. And lastly, some believed that the ocean was surrounded by vast fires. Now that would make a really cool prophecy in your game or story. Drop hints about some prophecy with the ocean and that fires surrounding it means something and watch them as they are looking for actual fires instead of this magnificent light display that people believe to be fires. What would this display be called in your world? Aurora Borealis was derived from the Roman goddess of dawn, Aurora, and the Greek name for the north wind, Boreas. So let's take direct inspiration from that and consider what deities you have in your world. What are they called? What do they represent? Pick two that you feel would fit in with the plot of your Aurora Borealis and you could mash those names together or mash some derivative of their names and come up with the name for your celestial event. The Aurora Borealis, also known as the Northern Lights, are more commonly known because where they take place there are land masses that are inhabited. However, it's not as commonly known that there are also Southern Lights and that's because there's not enough accessible land down south where they can be viewed. Let's go back to your villain's plot. What if they made their first attempt to kick off their evil plan with the Aurora Borealis in the north, but their plan was foiled because there are people in the north and people saw what was happening. After your villain's plan is foiled, they now go to the south where they can spend more time building a bigger, better machine and they will not be stopped because there are less people there to see what's going on and less people to stop them. How long has this event been taking place in your world? If this event has been taking place since the beginning of time, then it should be a household name. Though maybe it's called something differently depending on which region you're in, the belief systems. So consider that. What evidence is there that this event has been taking place since the beginning of time? Are there ancient cave drawings of this event? Are there stone tablets or ancient scrolls written in a dead language that need to be interpreted? And once interpreted, the event is explained. I was fascinated to learn that the Aurora Borealis is said to make sound. It's described as a popping or crackling or sort of like an electrical 
feed sound. So in your world, does your event make any sound? And are these sounds actually real or are they perceived to be real? What do people in your world believe these sounds to be? The ancestors sending messages from beyond? Maybe their coordinates to a special location from somewhere else. Maybe someone on a distant world is communicating coordinates to a special location. What if they're just lucky numbers? The auroras come in varying colors determined by which atom is struck and at which altitude. Green is the most common color seen, though reds can be seen at the highest altitudes and blues at the lower. So let's dig deeper into this. Are there any beliefs around the colors in your world? What if there were people that chased after the auroras with the belief that certain spectrums offered a particular benefit, like storm chasers, but light chasers or color chasers? Green could mean fortune, red could mean ill omen, and blue could mean that your ancestors are communicating to you. Now, human eyes have limitations when it comes to perceiving colors, but cameras have features that can capture far more. So let's go back to your villain's plot, and instead of your villain creating a massive apparatus meant to emit a sound frequency to disrupt the light, what if your villain built an apparatus that was meant to bend the light with a huge lens like a camera in such a way that a certain spectrum could be focused or magnified? You could even build rumors into your world that would support this belief. Maybe your northern climates claim to have better harvests during the auroras, or maybe the people in the south, they see red auroras as ill omens. And rightly so, because there's less people to view them in the south. Maybe the red auroras are seen as ill omens because they're more visible in the south, where there are less people. And maybe there's less people because the red auroras actually do something bad. Or maybe there's just less people because people perceive them to be bad and they don't want to be anywhere near it. Those who travel to higher altitudes to be closer to the blue spectrum may experience dizziness because of elevation sickness, but they believe it's because they're receiving messages from their ancestors. So going back to these beliefs, your villain could build a massive apparatus to bend light because maybe they want all the good fortune for themselves, or maybe because they know the true effect of the red aurora, or even the blue aurora. Insert plot point here. Auroras are unpredictable. Even so, there are forecasting tools of sorts. At most, we know that they're typically seen at night. So what kind of methods in your world can predict an aurora? What if your world used those methods somehow to predict a display that wasn't expected, like during the day, or a display that was larger than any other in history? How would your world react to that news? Remember when I said southern auroras are less known and viewed? What if its reaches went far beyond what is known in your world? What if instead of just being seen in the southern hemisphere, the southern aurora got seen throughout the entire world? Is there a reason in your your world, why it was affected in such a way. Maybe the planets aligned, maybe the ley lines were shifting, or maybe your villain's plot is actually in effect and succeeding. Auroras can happen on other planets. Are there other planets in your world that are visible in the night sky? And what would people in your world think if they saw an aurora happening to another planetary body? What if it happened on a moon, which seems completely impossible, but insert plot reasons and now you have an aurora happening on the moon and your people are panicking. Imagine what you could come up with if you did further research.